I'm here today with Jason Netherton, the CEO of IWG Corporate Services based in Cloner, BC. We're here to discuss what his company IWG Corporate Services is, is all about. Thanks again, Jason, for being here today. Thanks for having um, me. You're welcome. Uh, IWG Corporate Services is well connected from what I understand, Jason, and from what you've told, told me to capital markets. Uh, how beneficial is this to your clients? Yeah, thanks, Andrew, for that's a good question. And um, so the reason why we expanded that side of league of our business in uh, IWG Corporate Services is that we found a lot of our business owners were looking to success, go into succession planning or expansion. So the question is capital, who's going to buy you or who's going to help you finance that next round or uh, that next great idea. And so we spent a lot of time in the U.S. capital markets interviewing a number of equity firms. And, um, you know, the bigger the company you are, there are suitors that would fit you. So, uh, for example, on, on a million dollar, $2 million EBITDA or profit of the company earnings, you know, you can explain EBITDA and, uh, you, you would, that, that one to $2 million EBITDA range, there's not a lot of buyers. If you're 4 million plus, there's a lot of equity firms looking to <laughs> connect with you. And they have the money to either buy you out or partner with you for expansion. Um, and this is where you come into play that one to $10 million, you know, price range or one to 2 million EBITDA or it's slightly lower, uh, you know, suiting, connecting the, the right people to the, to the business owner and what they are, they're trying to achieve and their industry is all support. So is that an easy thing to do? It's not, uh, you know, there's traditional bank lending, uh, but that might not always, you know, work out for you. What I find really? out here in Canada, in the startup space, uh, in Canada specifically, it is challenging, you know, for businesses that want to start and get that capital and, uh, you, you know, be that next great company. Whereas it seems like in the U S they're a little more liberal with, um, <laughs> with that money. I, you know, from what we've seen. And they're willing to be pro-America and, and help them out to help their brothers uh, build up their companies, um, but still a challenge in accessing that capital. But, uh, that sums up capital markets, you know, and, yeah. and uh, how that works. Um, it seems really complicated, but just imagine um, really wealthy business owners or people that have set up a fund or a company um, to deploy capital, and really that's it. It's it's a private company that has that capital inside it and they're waiting for that next great business to buy. Absolutely. And, and that's a whole other space outside of the bank. So banks is traditional, what I call traditional for, you know, and, and a lot of times with startups and, and small companies that the banks really don't like them. They don't want to be funding high risk, high risk startups. You know, How does Canada lend? Explain that. What do they like? The banks. Solid, cap, solid consistent cash flow businesses. Yeah, but solid. they usually like assets, right? Solid I'll, lend you, asset. I'll lend you money if you've got assets. Yeah, if you've got assets, hard, hard assets like real estate, obviously, is, is a yeah. big part of it. But solid cash flow businesses with, with historical earnings and historical history that's ideally going in a positive direction. You know, with COVID, yeah. we've had a lot of ups and downs. It's been a bit of a roller coaster ride for a lot of businesses. But. Uh... <laughs>